this tutorial we will explain step by step what you need to do in order to start typing your notes using WizNotes. When you first start WizNotes you will see that there is a default WizNotebook named WizNotebook. Every WizNotebook contains two default groups of pages that cannot be deleted or renamed. One called General and the other called Deleted Pages. The general group contains a default page called Notes. The page called Notes also cannot be renamed or deleted. If you want, you can type your notes into that page. However, you'll probably find it useful to create a new Wiz Notebook and name it with the name of the subject that you are studying. For example, if you are studying Physics, you'll name it Physics. Every Wiz Notebook that you create will contain the groups of pages called General and Deleted Pages. However, you will probably find it useful to add new groups with the names of the different topics in your course. For example, you might divide your Physics Wiz Notebook into groups of pages named Radioactivity, Energy, Waves, Electromagnetic Radiation, etc. In each lesson, you'll probably add a new page and name it with the topic of that lesson. For example, if you have a lesson about the dangers of radiation, you'll probably name the page Dangers of Radiation. When you type your notes inside a page, we recommend that you divide your notes into collapsible sections. Each section can contain a few related paragraphs. In other tutorials, we will explain the benefits of using collapsible sections. You will notice that WizNotes does not have a save button. When you type your notes using WizNotes, your notes are saved automatically. In this tutorial, we explain the few basic steps that you need to take in order to start taking notes using WizNotes.